I'm Dan Javorsik. I go by Animal, and I'm a program manager in the Strategic Technology Office here at DARPA. There are a lot of technologies coming out of artificial intelligence machine learning. They're doing a great job beating Go or chess or video games where you have to build long-term strategies, you have to have tactics that you execute in a very rapid fashion. That, to me, showed that we are at the precipice of being able to take advantage of those technologies and put them into something that really matters for us from a warfighter perspective. This is why we created the Air Combat Evolution Program, to demonstrate trusted, scalable, human-level autonomy for air combat operations. The ACE program was an opportunity for us to flip this whole thing upside down. Instead of approaching it from the top down, we want to do it from the bottom up. Do it the way that we do it with pilots. As soon as they learn to take off and land, we put them in a dogfight. Hollywood has conditioned us to believe that the dogfight lives at the apex of complexity for air combat operations. In reality, the dogfight is a much more bounded problem. And that's mainly because we have very well-defined starting and initial conditions and well-defined victory conditions. That dogfight example translates very nicely and works as essentially a gateway to get to these far more complicated scenarios that we find in combat operations today and will certainly be a part of combat operations in the future. The bigger vision of the ACE program is actually not about teaching the autonomous system to operate completely independently, but rather how can it help our pilots to do their job better? Figure out if we can get the human beings to actually trust a system that we want to take into combat someday. What really matters and what is really powerful is the blending of the human being with the machine that's able to capitalize on the strengths of both. The ACE program encompasses a broad spectrum of technologies and applications. And so as a result, we imagine that the performer base is very large that we could draw from. And we want to try and capitalize on talent that's coming out of universities to small companies, all the way to prime contractors. And if we expose ourselves to all of those folks, hopefully we are able to accomplish what we're setting out to do in the ACE program.